Let's take a look at the hardware I'm using to control what's going on in Ableton. This is the Mojo. It's a custom controller I designed uh, a few years ago. It's based on an iterative process I've been through for many, many years. It started with uh, buying controllers and then hacking them and then making my own. So this is a really mature design and uh, its main differences with uh, a commercial controller you might buy in a store or online are that it's, uh, it's made really well, it's easy to repair, and it's got this whole ergonomic thing going on with, uh, with the shape of my hand, so it's easier for the way that I, I mix and, uh, and manipulate sounds. Um, the other main difference is it's got a few sensors that you won't find on as many commercial controllers, like these touch strips everywhere that I use for momentary effects to turn them on and modulate them, like, like so. And, uh, and also these clicky arcade buttons, which are great for tapping really fast. Um, yeah, so you might not have these kind of sensors. You might have this specific controller, but it's just sending generic MIDI messages. Uh, you can use it to do all the same kind of things I'm doing, um, and you'll find you know, uh, a way to make whatever controller you have do most of what this does somehow. So yeah, let's check out the software. <laughs> 